Well, this morning, Barry Johnson was at a voters forum with current district attorney Abel Reyna, who is seeking his third term in office. And Fox 44's Noelle Mendoza was at the McLennan County Republican Women's Club meeting today, where both candidates made their voices heard. We're just three short weeks away from the primary election and district attorney candidates Abel Reyna and Barry Johnson are making their last push to sway voters. I have known Abel for many years and Abel's a fine man. So is Barry Johnson. Barry Johnson's a fine man. His dad, you know, was the judge here for many, many years. So both of them are, are qualified. Both of them, would, I believe, would do a good job. Today's forum gave each candidate five minutes to explain why they are the right person for the job. Mr. Reyna has all but admitted the misconduct and how he has handled those Twin Peaks cases. Barry Johnson used his time to present his case against Reyna. Has proven that justice is for sale. It has been for sale in McLennan County. Unfortunately, I've yet to hear Mr. Johnson say what he would do for the office at all. He, he likes to talk about Abel and what he feels that Abel has done wrong. Reyna took a different approach. We ask that you keep your remarks to the job and the skills you bring to fulfill the responsibilities of that job. So I'm going to do that. <laughs> He didn't mention Johnson at all during his speech. You will like me, I'm going to have presence in that office, <laughs> presence in the courtroom, presence in the community. I'm really disappointed in uh, Abel Ryan. I have uh, supported him in the past, and um, I can't tell you how disappointed uh, I am. The McLennan County Republican Women's Club hopes events like these will open up the conversation and get everyone to the polls. So I really hope that the, the, the people that are here today will be challenged to go out and vote and that they will stand strong in their beliefs and share those with others and encourage others to vote. The joint primary election is on March 6 and the general election is in November. In Waco, Noelle Mendoza, Fox 44 News.